When you're writing a web app, oftentimes your users are going to do things in the app for which you would like to display little notifications. These need to be independent of which page they're on, and they don't show up with every page load. These messages are sometimes referred to as flash messages, are in no way related to the successful Adobe product, and are the topic of this week's episode. It was exciting last episode when we were finally able to wire up Passport and start logging in our users, but part of it left a bad taste in my mouth. We had to comment out a line referring to our Flash, because we didn't have the necessary module in place to support it. Total minus one style points there, but we're going to fix that today. There is a simple node module we can install to get access to Flash messages in our app. It's called Connect Flash. Installation is going to be pretty easy. Just the classic old npm install dash dash save. Let's make sure that our app can use it. And we do that in config application. And we just need to drop one line into here. And that is app, app.use. And then, of course, we don't need to start a string there. Go ahead and just dump in the module, like so. The biggest thing to note here is that this has to come after our references to sessions. Flash messages are stored in our session objects, so we need to make sure to configure them after we've configured the sessions. With that in place, now we can actually start using the Flash. We also need to call what comes back from this require rather than just passing in the module itself. It's going to give us a function, and we need to invoke that function to get the actual configuration option that we're after. Let's head back to that file with the commented outline. And we can remove the commented line. So what happens here is that connect flash attaches a flash function to our request objects. And our first argument is the name of the key that we're setting. And the second argument is the value that we want to set that key to. So in our case, we're setting the notice key to our helpful confirmation message here. I call it notice probably because of my Rails background. You could call it Fuhugu Gods if you wanted to, though good luck in spelling that. So let's fire up our server and see this in action. So first we need to log our user in. And then of course we know that the sign out link will log us out. So we click that to see our flash message and wait, nothing looks different. Well, that's because we need to actually display the flash on our page. With Express, if we want something to be accessible to our views, then we need to explicitly set it to be so. So let's go ahead and add this key into our view templates context. We're gonna call it flash, and then it itself is gonna be another object, which will have a member called notice, which we want to grab out of the flash. Now we've seen this passing a context object to the view before. That's not new here. But let's note that to retrieve the value of a flash, we call that same rec flash function and we pass it the key we want to retrieve. So to retrieve, we call the function with only the key and to set the value, which is what we did in app route session routes, we call flash with both the key name and the value that we want to set it to. And then we need to put it into a view And this is the view file for our homepage, and we could very well add our flash message right here. But remember, these need to be independent of which page they're on. So let's instead put it in our layout file at AppViews Home, HomeJade. And we're gonna put this right just inside the container here. And it's pretty simple. We just check to see if we have the flash, if we have the flash notice, and if the flash notice is length is greater than zero. We do need that check because we can sometimes get an empty array as the value of the flash, and we don't want this to show up unless we actually have text in there. Not rec, that's a mistake. We want flash notice right there. So let's go ahead and restart our server then. And then we can go ahead and sign our user back in. That's a slasher. Hurrah, we're all signed in. And then go ahead and trigger that sign out link. And we can see that message, you have successfully signed out. But we don't really want to clutter up our layout file like this. So let's create a file 
app views layouts flash dot jade and into there we'll take this put it there and delete all that white space and we're going to add another one for errors because we'll have that as well and then put the same thing here one here and then of course errors shouldn't look like successes to us but then we also need to make sure that we actually include that file in our layout this one doesn't require restarting the server because we only changed template files so let's sign our user back in and then sign the user back out and we still get our message that was all good fun but remembering to include our notices on every render call we make throughout the app would be, how to say it, a major pain. So let's make a change so that our flash is just always available to us. This begins with a middleware. So first we're going to make a directory for our middlewares. And then we'll create a file in that called setflash.js. And this is just a pretty standard middleware. Let's get our classic signature there, and then also make sure we expose this. Now what we want to do here is just something pretty simple. Grab our notice. And then also make sure we're grabbing our errors if we've put any in. In an Express app, anything we attach to res.locals like we're doing right here gets merged with those view context objects that we pass in at the time of our render call. So by setting it here in this middleware, we just make it automatically available to us and we don't have to set it on the individual render calls. And then because we're not interested in having our requests just hang, Let's make sure to call next so that the control flow will pass along to the next middleware so that we can use it. We're gonna put this in just before our router. Let's go app, app.use. And then we'll grab our set flash middleware. And then of course we need to write our middleware helper. So we'll just grab this one and make a similar change here. Then let's go back to that route file and clean it up because this would overwrite what we're passing in via the middleware. Let's make sure we get our tags here right okay and while we have this file open let's go ahead and get rid of that logging that we had from before and now we can come here and restart our server so now we can one last time sign in our user and then we can sign the user out and boom there we have our message again we didn't have to explicitly call it in our render call but now just for fun, we can also go sign in our user and use the wrong password. And we can see that we got redirected here with our message of invalid username or password. Well, that shows us how to take advantage of flash messages. These are really good for the user experience because it gets us a way to put down confirmation messages in our app's pages, especially when we get to destructive operations or things that involve taking money. Users like to get confirmation that what they expected took place. So go forth and inform your users of things that have happened in your app. Until next time, happy coding.